So today we are making mango jelly. So what you are going to need to start to make your jelly is a 100% juice with no sugar added. So I am using just a mango 100% juice, no sugar added. You're going to need two boxes of sure gel. You're going to need seven cups of sugar and you're going to need one tablespoon of butter. Are you ready? This is really fun and really okay, easy. Okay, so what you wanna start with is six cups of your fresh juice. If you don't like mango, you can make any juice that you want as long as it's 100% juice, no sugar added. So if you want to do grape, or berry, or anything else. You don't have to do mango. Oh, you probably do peach. Oh, you know what? I've done white grape. White grape is really delicious. So we need six cups of juice. Two. It smells so good. So, so good. And my jars are in my canner. I'm gonna do half pints, so I'm gonna get those sterilizing. Okay, there's six. So, let's see, there's about that much left in the container. So we're gonna to start to warm up our juice. And in the meantime, I'm going to get together seven cups of sugar. All right, seven cups of sugar. And we need two packs of Sure Gel. And this is just the classic original Sure Gel. This is not low sugar. The recipe would be different if you use low sugar. And I need two boxes. Sorry, my dishwasher is going in the background. I hope it's not too noisy. All right, we're gonna let that heat up, just warm up just a little bit before we add our pectin and our butter. Okay, our juice has warmed up a little bit. So now what I want to do is add my two packs of pectin. Stir that in real good. To our pectin, we are going to add our tablespoon of butter. What the butter does is it, the, the jelly will foam as it's processing and the butter helps eliminate some of that foam in your jars. And that's all that's used for. Um, if you don't want the butter in it, you don't have to put the butter in it. So now we're just gonna let this come up to a boil. And 
it's got to come up to a hard boil, a boil that when you stir it, it won't stir down. So it's a boil that is really going pretty good. And then we'll be back and I'll show you what that is. All right, we are just starting to boil. I have it on about medium high heat. I don't want to burn my jelly, so I'm not gonna turn it up to high, but it's gradually going to get up to that rolling boil. Just take some time and some patience. And every once in a while, just give it a nice stir. Look at that juice. My jars are in my water bath canner. They are getting warm and sterilized. Of course, they're already all clean, have been through the dishwasher. And I'm doing half pints. If you have a hot product that you're putting in, you have to have hot jars. We are basically at our rolling boil. Let me see if I can stir it down. No, I cannot. See how that's still boiling? So this is our rolling boil. Now we are going to add seven cups of sugar. One. Two. Three, four, five. One more, seven. Okay, so now what we need to do is let this come back up to a rolling boil, just like it did before. Once it reaches a rolling boil that cannot be stirred down, then we set our timer for one minute and that allows the pectin to set the jelly. Then we get to fill our jars. After you add your sugar, you really do want to just keep stirring it so the bottom of your pot does not burn. Here's our rolling boil. See that? Now I'm gonna set my timer for one minute. Keep stirring it while your timer's going off for one minute. Once your timer goes off, remove it from your heat. Now, we are ready to fill our jars. Ready to fill your jars. So, when you pull your jar out that's full of water, turn it this way and get the water out. And with jelly, you want to fill your jars to a quarter inch headspace. Look at how beautiful that is.
quarter inch, always wipe your top of your jar. If there is anything on the top of your jar, you will not get a seal and you can't put it on your shelf, but you still can put it in your fridge and use it. There's our first jar. Whoops, be careful, Linda. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. In it goes. Looks about a quarter inch. Perfect. Wipe your rim. A new lid, you cannot reuse lids, but you can reuse bands, as long as there isn't any rust or anything on them, or they're damaged. So make sure you inspect them. In it goes. I hope I get a lot. We'll be back when we're all, all right. filled up. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got nine half pints. I would have had 10 half pints, but I don't know what happened with one as I was starting to put it in. I guess I didn't close it tight enough and it opened. So that jar um, is just going to go in the fridge for us to use. So now we're gonna turn up our water bath canner too high. We're gonna let this come up to a rolling boil. And when it does, we will set our timer for 10 minutes and we'll All be right, back. We are at rolling boil. We are setting our timer for 10 minutes. Minute timer is up so you can remove the lid and just let it calm down before you remove your jars. All right, we can start taking them out. Look at how beautiful homemade mango jelly. Now you want this jar to sit for 24 hours undisturbed. Once your 24 hours is up, then you can remove the top bands and inspect them to make sure that all of the seals pop and you have a good seal, a successful canning. And then when you have a successful canning, you can remove the rim and then you can put it on your shelf and you have your very own homemade mango jelly. Look at how gorgeous. So that one jar that I ruined is ruined. It won't set up because it got water inside. I have no idea what I did. I guess not paying attention. I thought that I had put the rim on correctly and apparently I did not. Or there we go. This is Linda from Homestead by the Lake. I just want to say thank you for watching my video on how to make mango jelly. I hope you make your own.